Jenny, what are the odds for someone who's a splitter to get into top 14? Uh, it depends very much on what the split is um, and also what undergraduate school that they went to. Like my plenty of, plenty of students who've also had plenty of friends um, who had like low three GPA, high 170s LSAT score from a good undergraduate school and ended up at Harvard Yale Stanford. Um, it's not super common, but I've definitely seen it plenty of times. It's, it's not a fluke. Um, so uh, it depends on sort of how high you are in one versus the other. Um, generally speaking, I would say that like your chances are fine. Um, the, if you are genuinely a splitter, meaning that you're in the 75th percentile for one of those two things, particularly for the LSAT score, um, and you know 25th percentile for the other, you have a very solid chance of getting into a top 14 school. You do need to make sure that your extracurriculars are on point. So start thinking about what is your area, what's your field, what's your persona, build a profile, do extracurriculars, do internships related to it, so that you're not just reliant on your numbers. Um, if you are resting all of your hopes on your numbers, your, your chances of getting in are severely dimish, diminished. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.